morning, ladies and gentlemen. The esteemed guest, chief guest for today's function, Honorable His Lordship, Mr. Deepak, uh, Justice Deepak Mishra, Chief, the Chief Justice of India, the Chief Dynamic Chief Minister of Maharashtra, a friend, philosopher, and guide to Bharti Vidya Beat, Honorable uh, Sri Devendra Fadnavis Ji, Distinguished Guest of the Supreme Court, Honorable Mr. Justice A.M. Khanvil Kasi, Acting Chief Justice of the Bombay High Court, Honorable Sir Sri Justice Nareshji Patil Ji, the Chancellor of Bharti Vidya Beat University, Honorable Professor Dr. Shivaji Rauji Kadam, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Dr. Sarun Kesar, the Dean of the Law Faculty, Professor Dr. Mukun Sarada, distinguished members of the bar, the elite of Pune, media persons, faculty members of Bharti Vidya Peet and Bharti Vidya Peet Team University, the invitees, my dear students and friends. It is a historical day for Bharti Vidya Peet to have the gracious presence of the respected dignitaries on the dais. As Secretary of Bharti Vidya Beat, I am very privileged and honored that these guests have been accepted our invitations for today's function and uh, are present on the dais today. Today's function is organized in the memory of Honorable Dr. Patangrao Ji Kadam, the Founder Chancellor of Bharti Vidya Beat and Bharti Vidya Beat Team University. So kindly allow me to speak a few words regarding the parent body of the Bharti Vidya Peet University which is the Bharti Vidya Peet Trust and our Honorable Founder Dr. Patangrao Ji Kadam. Dr. Patangrao Ji Kadam came from a small village which had no water for drinking, no water for farming. It was a drought prone village in the district of Sangli in Kadegao Taluka. The village Sonsar had a population of barely 300 people when my father, Dr. Patakrao Ji Kadam, was born there. This was born in a farmer's family at a humble beginning who had to walk almost 9 kilometers daily for his primary and secondary education to a nearby village. Having done his primary and secondary education there, he went to a village called Kundar where he did his boarding education and then at the teenage years, he travelled to Satara alone where he did his higher secondary education in an institution called Raj Shikshan Sansta which was founded by the late visionary Padma Vibhushan Karmavir Bhavra Party who did a massive work of educating the masses in rural Maharashtra. He studied in the earn and learn scheme. Born in a poor family's background, Dr. Patangravachi Kadam did not have the financial capacity to bear his own education cost. And that time, Karmavir Bhauravji Patil had initiated a scheme for poor students coming from humble rural background, which was an earn and learn scheme, where you had to work all day and in the evenings you had to study in the Raya Shikshan Samstha. Dr. Patangravachi Kadam completed his studies there and at the age of 17, he travelled from Satara to Pune and got himself a job as a teacher in Red Shikshan Sanstas, Red Sadhana Vidyala in the city of Pune. Not having any financial and social background, as a two years he worked as a teacher in Sadhana Vidyala as a, a, a teacher from 1962 to 1964. Did not have any place or accommodation to live in the city of Pune and had to live in the school itself, in the premises, in the laboratory for a period of two years. In 1964, at the age of 19, Dr. Patangravachi Kadam established Bharti Vidya Beat along with a few colleagues. Adhanya or Anandra Patilji was one of the colleagues who started the institution along with him. And from 1964, he started taking scholarship examinations uh, through, for rural students in the state of Maharashtra in the subjects of English, Maths and Science because he knew that the rural students, if they had to get them better educated in quality education, these are the three subjects with the basics and foundation for their primary and secondary education. From 1964 till 68, he was 
uh, taking scholarship examination in these three subjects. And in 1968, the first school was founded in a slum in the city of Pune, in the Kothrud area, uh, in the in Shankara More, naming him the school as Shankara More Vidyal. From 1968 began the journey of imparting higher and secondary education in the state of Maharashtra. Sir, it's very proud for me to mention that Bharti Vidyapi today is known for its higher education and its excellence and quality in higher education. Today, with God's grace and the dedication and commitment and the vision of our founder, Honorable Dr. Pratikaravji Kadam, this universe, uh, founded Bharti Vidyapi became a trust uh, university in the year 1996. But what is equally more important is that Bharti Vidyapi also runs almost 90 schools in 90 different villages of Maharashtra imparting quality education to rural students of Maharashtra. Not only this, we also have a center in the tribal area of Maharashtra in Jawar uh, of Thane district where we are imparting quality education to tribal children. Late Prime Minister and uh, a great statesman Bharat Ratna Atal Bihari Vajpayee was also kind enough to visit that school of Bharati Vidyapit in Jawar district and spend almost two hours interacting with those tribal students and uh, in the authorities of Bharati Vidyapit. Sir, in the last 54 years, Bharati Vidyapit with the vision of Honorable Dr. Patangaraji Kadam has grown. We have not only grown in quality education, we have grown demographically, geographically. Like I mentioned, we have 90 schools in 90 different villages, in small villages of Maharashtra. But we've grown in uh, imparting different faculty education also in, uh, in conventional education of our country. We have started uh, medical colleges, dentary colleges, engineering, law, pharmacy faculties, hotel management, architecture. So everything and anything that has been taught in uh, conventional education of our country has been imparted by Bharati Vidyapi. So it's uh, with extreme sorrow that Honorable Dr. Pratagaraji Kadam is not present on the dais today. But he believed in quality education. He strived hard to ensure that Bharti Vidyapit stands for its moral and ethics of making sure that students are not only graduates of this university and institution, but they have some good moral and ethics they could impart in their life. Bharti Vidyapit, like I mentioned, in the year 1996, Honorable Dr. Pratagnaoji Kadam, in the year 1964, when he founded Bharti Vidyapit, he had written in the preamble, in the constitution of Bharti Vidyapit, that one day, this trust will become a university. This he had written in 1964. And in 1996, this, his dream became a reality when the government of India, on the recommendation of the UGC, gave a deal to university status to a cluster of 10, 12 different faculties of Bharti Vidyapi. Today, the university has also gradually grown and we have 29 different faculties in the ambit of Bharti Vidyapi University imparting quality education in different faculties. So the quality of Bharti Vidyapit and Bharti Vidyapit University speaks for itself. There was a cycle of a, uh, NAC, National Assessment Accreditation Council in the year 2002, where we got an A grade to the entire university and all its faculties. There was a second cycle, we, we again got an A grade. And in the third cycle, which was done, done just done recently in the last year, we became an A plus university. There are very few universities in the entire country where a new university status has been awarded an A plus. There is a lot of research activities that has been done in the university as well. That is the reason why the university stands uh, a unique university amongst the universities in India. So I would not like to take, take much time. Our law college has been doing excellent work. Like our professor Dr. Mukun Sada mentioned in his introductory speech, we have been making citizens of India and we are making sure that they contribute to our nation building. Our law graduates have been from all the states of uh, our country different parts of Maharashtra and they are practicing law and not only law, some of our law students have become, have the privilege of becoming district judges and even high court judges. We are extremely proud of this and uh, law college is one of the crown uh, jewels in the crown of Bharati Vidyapi. Today, with your esteemed presence and with your auspicious hands, we are inaugurating the accreditation center and second law school in the city of Pune in the campus of Bharati Vidyapi and Dhankadu here today. Last but not the least, so our honorable founder had a vision. He wanted to make sure that our faculty and our students con constantly get the best of best in education. But he also focused on the moral and ethics of the kind of education we are imparting to the students. And like I mentioned, we run the various schools of Bharati Vidyapi. And I remember an incident, this is the incident I would like to share before concluding my speech here today. 
that while it interacting a school with school students in a school of Bharati Vidyapi, the honourable founder was asking them, what would you like to become when you grow up? And as obvious, a lot of students gave the usual answers that they would like to become doctors and lawyers and engineers. But there was one unique boy at the A class 8 who stood up and said that I would like to become a good human being. This is what he said. I think this is what Bharati Vidyapit stands for. Not only creating graduates, we want to ensure that all students who study in Bharati Vidyapit become good human beings with high moral and ethic values. And this is what Bharati Vidyapit will continue to do with the late Honorable Dr. Pratang Rao Pratang's founder, his vision, his commitment and his dedication to the society. Lots can be said, sir, but I know that Honorable Devendra Pandavis Ji and you have taken out your valuable time. Come today to grace this special occasion. You have been, your lordship has been to a law college previously. Honorable Justice Kanadikar Sahib has been to a law college previously for delivering lectures on law and various topics. But I am also very grateful to Honorable Devendra Fadnivichi that he has taken out his uh, valuable time and graced our occasion. He has shared a very close and personal relationship with the founder of our institution, Honorable Dr. Patangarauji Kadam. And we are very, very happy that you have come up here today that for in the memory or uh, to begin the lecture series in the memory of our Honorable Founder, Dr. Patangarauji Kadam.